Hi, Don Clare. Lovely to meet you. We, we interviewed you last fe Fright Fest. How are you doing? To yes, me, actually. yes, that'll be why. Nice to see you again. Am I shiny? No. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> so Dastardly Doll is back. My goodness. What was it about Chucky that you, you that the, a new story that you wanted to bring to Well, mainly I wanted to continue the story of the character Nika, played by Fiona Dorif. And um, I also thought it would be really fun to see what would happen if Nika met Tiffany and Andy Barkley, because that's, I think, something that fans are really interested in seeing what happens when different parts of the franchise come together and explode. I think that's interesting because we always associate obviously Chucky with just being about the doll but for you it is all about the other characters and the supporting characters. Yeah, we you know we try to make it not just about a bunch of creative ways to kill people, not that we don't do that too because that's a big part of the job, but no, I real I I'm really interested in the characters and one of the interesting things about this um, movie is that it takes place in a mental hospital, so all of the different characters have a different have each has their own relationship to Chucky, which is was really fun to write. Because of the environment that you're in, does that cre give you kind of creativity to find new, exciting oh, yeah. ways? Oh yeah, that was um, the main reason for the mental assignment asylum setting was because it was a whole new playground for Chucky to operate in. You can imagine the different weapons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We're in a very um, different. Oh God, it's so hot! I know it's boiling, oh, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm sweating. You don't normally have that in the. Anthony, area. I have it. I have it. I it's not. It's not with me, but I have it. It's here in London. I have that for you as well. Okay, after it. Good to see you. Sorry. And then just that very finally, in the 21st century, we're still seeing a very practical effect with Chucky. Was that always the case? Always, yeah. We, we've. He, it's so important to me to, to do the old school effects and it's so important for the actors to have something tangible to react to on set. So, you know, they, they, they think of him as just another actor and he's actually the biggest diva.